Hey, hope you're doing well. My name is Jay and in this video I want to teach you how you can copy any text and paste it anywhere you want. So the goal for this video is to copy all this text when we click this button and copy this text when we click this button. And we have here just an empty text field that way we can just test it and paste whatever we're copy. So a real world example is um, Google Fonts. When you go there, you can see this little icon here, which is like the copy icon. And when you click that, you can copy this whole text and you can paste it in your code editor or anywhere else. So it's the same thing. So I already have some HTML, very simple. I added a JavaScript file here. That file is totally empty. So we need to add all the functionality that we need to add for this copy to work. But the CSS is already there, very simple too. So I'm going to go to this Java, JavaScript file, totally empty. So let's start by selecting this elements because I have multiple. So we have one and two, maybe I can have three, four, whatever. You can have a hundred and you need to make sure this copy button works. All right. So first let's select all those elements. I'm going to create a variable. So const, you can call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it copy equals to document dot query selector. And this one is going to be query selector all because it's multiple elements. If it's not multiple, then you can use query selector. And I'm going to do it by uh, CSS class. So each element has a class of text. I can go back to HTML to just take a look. And yes, let me do some spacing here. So you can see we have text and then text. And then inside we have the paragraph and the button. Perfect. So that's what I want. And after we have that, then we have to do a for each loop. That way we can loop through all these elements. So I'm going to do copy, which is the variable that we just created. And we're going to do for each. And here um, I, I'm going to do text and uh, function. So I'm going to do an arrow function. And I'm going to console log test text just to make sure this is working. I'm going to save that. Let me save this HTML too. Let's inspect this element, go to the console and here we go. So you can see is actually giving us that perfectly, which is what we need. All right. I'm going to remove the console log. So let's create two variables. We want one for the paragraph and another one for the button. So I'm going to do const. Let's do the one for the button. Text dot query selector. And we need to take a look at the class of this paragraph. I, I mean, the button, this is the button. So you can go to the HTML and the button has a class of copy. So let's go there. Let's put copy. All right. And now we need another one for the paragraph. So let's call this paragraph. And this is equal to text. Same thing, query selector. And this one, it can be just a paragraph. We don't have any class or anything like that. So just a paragraph tag. So that's fine. That works for this example. Maybe it's different for your project, but that's totally fine. So now that we have those two, let's go to the button. And all we need to do is when we click this button, something happens, right? So we're going to add a event listener to the button. All right. And here, you're going to do on click. So it's going to be click. And what happens? We run a function. And we're going to create that function right here. So you can see I added an arrow function. And it can be honestly whatever you want. So we can console lock something for now just to make sure this is working so far. So testing, save. I'm going to click any button. There you go. And this one, yeah, is working. So I'm going to just remove this. 
So one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the text of the copy to copied. So I'm gonna do button dot test content equals to copy. Something like that. I mean, it can be whatever you want. Um, maybe you're not using text. Maybe it's just an icon. Maybe you can change the icon, the color, or maybe you can do an animation. Whatever you want. You can see that Google is very simple. Um, it's just like a, a simple animation that is you're clicking. So it doesn't have to be very complicated. I'm going to click and there you go. Now it doesn't change, right? Uh, maybe that's something that you can go ahead, get creative, but for now, I'm just gonna leave it like that. So I can refresh the page and that's it. So that's perfect. So now we need to actually copy that paragraph, whatever we have here in this paragraph. So it's very simple. It's a clipboard API. So it comes with the, it works with the browser right now with JavaScript. So you can do navigator dot clipboard and you can do write text. So the cool thing about clipboard, you can copy, you can paste, you can, uh, I think you can cut too. So, which is pretty, pretty cool. That's not the only thing you can do. I'm going to leave some information below more click, more links. That way you can take a look at navigator and you can take a look at clipboard. So, we want to write in the clipboard what? We want to write the paragraph, which we have right here. And it needs to be the text text content of that paragraph. So make sure it's not code or it's not something weird here. All right. It needs to be text. I'm going to save that. Let's try it out. I'm going to click copy. And I'm going to paste it right here. And there you go. Let's make sure that's what it is. All right. So I'm going to copy this one and I'm going to paste it. Here you go. Let's make sure. Yep. That's, that's the one. So there you go right now. Of course, um, I think next steps can be, um, you know, removing this copy by maybe a couple seconds after you click on it. That way you can see the copy button. But right now it keeps working. Even even that I just click here, I can keep pasting and click here and, and paste, you know. So it works. It's all about a little details right now. But this is how it works. Very simple, but very powerful. Hope you like it. Subscribe if you want to keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye bye.